Hi, Tom here, your Geek Sherpa guiding you through PowerPoint for posters. This lesson covers step one, creating a blank base slide. We'll cover starting from scratch and discuss pros and cons of using departmental templates. So, here I have PowerPoint 365 on a Windows 10 PC. Um, so here we go. We're going to start off and create a blank presentation. I'm just going to click on that once and actually I'm going to double click on it and it's going to open up and I have a blank slide for me to start with. What I usually do is I click on each one of the items that are pre-filled. Usually there's a title and a subtitle box added. I click on them once to highlight them and then press my delete key and it gets rid of them. So I have a completely blank slide. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to design which is in the top section, the little ribbon at the top. Click design and then go over to slide size and you're going to see a little down arrow, the little carrot there. Go ahead and click on that. That lets you know that there's going to be an additional choice that you can make and we're going to choose custom slide size. Okay? And this is the base slide that happens with all PowerPoint. It's set for widescreen right now, and it's only 13 and a third inches by seven and a half inches, which would be a terribly small poster. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the width. You'll note it tells me that I can enter a value from one to 56 inches. This is a limitation of PowerPoint. If you are displaying your poster somewhere and the sizes can go bigger than 56, PowerPoint cannot accommodate that size, okay? So the biggest poster you can possibly make is 56 by 56 using PowerPoint alone. There are ways around that though. Say we wanted to make a poster that was say 80 inches wide by 40 inches tall. What we'd end up doing is cutting both of those in half. So we'd do a 40 inch wide item by 20 inches. And then later on, and there is another video for this, we would double the size in PDF, okay? So in this case, I'm just gonna make a poster that is 48 inches wide by 36 inches tall. And we're only gonna make one slide, and it defaults to fixing it to either portrait or landscape based on the width and height that you put in. Say okay. And PowerPoint's gonna ask you this question, if you had items already on the slide, I would tell you to use Ensure Fit. Um, however, it doesn't really matter since we've gotten rid of everything that's on the slide. This just makes sure that everything either fits proportionally or if you want to get as much on as possible, okay? It doesn't really matter again since we removed everything from the slide. And now I have a PowerPoint slide that is 48 inches across by 36 inches tall, okay? This is how I make a blank. Some of you, however, are probably going to be given a template by one of your professors. I actually have a template here that I can open up. This one happens to be a University of Maryland School of Nursing template, and you'll notice that it has three slides inside of it. A little confusing, but you get your choice of three different styles. This is convenient for you because it lets you just actually cut and paste in all of your content. However, there is something that I need you all to be very aware of. When you get your templates, even if it's directly from your professor, please go over to the design before you put anything on there. Go over to design and go over to the slide size. Go to custom slide size and make sure that the width and height that are assigned to this template match what are on your assignments, okay? Super important. We've had a lot of them come through the library that don't necessarily match, um, and it's terrible to show up with a poster that's too big for the boards that are ready to be displayed, okay? Thanks, everyone.